in this video I'm showing you how you easily can color grade D-Log footage in Final Cut Pro in two different ways. My name is Christian, thank you guys for tuning in, let's go. All right, so this is the clips that we're working with today and this specific clip right here is the first one. And before I show you how I graded this, let me just say that this LUT right here that I'm using for this grade is free for downloading right now. It will not be available forever. Um, as soon as my LUT pack is done, I will include an updated version of this LUT in my LUT pack and then this LUT will not be free anymore. So download it while you can and tell me in the comments what you think. So yeah, the first thing I did here was to use this LUT and boom, this is how that looks before and after. You can pretty much call it a day and just export this file right here because it looks pretty good. Uh, but I want to do some more to this to make it look even better. So what I did here was to add a color wheel before the LUT right here. And then I basically dragged down the shadows a little bit and ever so slightly dragged up the global up here. As you can see here, that's, that's not a lot. So that's what I did. And I also added a little bit of teal in the shadows. So you can see here, I dragged it this way. So that's basically what I did. Boom. It's a little bit more dimmed, a little bit cooler. And the last thing I did here was to add a color wheel with a shape mask. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted to make this side of the image pop to emphasize the sun coming in from this side. Dragged up the shadows inside of the mask and the saturation and the warmth as well. So boom, that's how that looks. Before and after, before and after. So the first thing I did here was to add my LUT same LUT that I used here in the first clip, but I want to bring down the exposure a little bit and bring down the shadows. So what I did here was to add a color wheel and I dragged down the shadows and lifted the highlights. That's all that I did in here. So you can see this is the after, before and after. And then I can go back into the effects and add a hue versus saturation. And the reason why I did this is to just remove a little bit of the yellows in the saturation. And I added a uh, hue versus luma, so I basically just dragged down the luminosity of the yellow. Boom. So yeah, I'm just removing a little bit of the yellow hue. The last thing I did here to wrap this up and make this image stand out a little bit more is to add a color wheel with the shape mask. And boom, that's how that looks. Before, after, before, and after. All right, so these are the same clips that we just graded, but if you don't wanna use my LUT, or if you're watching this video and my LUT is not available anymore, then I'll show you guys how you can get pretty similar results using the built-in camera LUTs that you get in Final Cut. So what you wanna do now is to grab all the clips, go into camera LUT, and add the DJI Log camera LUT. Boom, there you go. So now you have this DJI conversion LUT that Final Cut provides on these clips. It's not looking so good, but we can fix that really fast. So I go into the effects here, I add one color wheel where I drag down the shadows, I bump up the highlights, I drag down the midtones, and I add a little bit of warmth in the global. I also add a little bit of coolness in the shadows and a little bit more warmth in the highlights. And the final touch actually is to drag a little bit magenta in the midtones. This is before applying this color wheel and this is after. That is basically what I did. So there's not so much going on here, but it's more tweaks than using my LUT. So yeah, before and after, before and after. Now you can also add this shape mask that I was talking about earlier, boom. You can go in here and add a little bit more saturation, like so, and you can, you know, use this mask a little bit like so. So it was here, but you can drag it further in like so, and boom, there you go. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Have a great day. Peace.